All right, howdy, guys. Good evening, afternoon, good morning, YouTube, and uh, all you guys on KAT.org. Got a question, um, actually a few questions. I want to uh, simplify my coolant and my vacuum for my KA24DET engine. Now, um, let's start with coolant for one thing. Um, I know this goes into the bottom of the radiator. I know these will go and basically feed the intake, um, the lower intake, throttle body and whatnot. Like it's got a bunch of coolant systems going through that I really don't think is necessary. And I would like to maybe look into getting rid of. And I, I wanna know if anybody's actually done that. Um, I have a GT35R turbo way over there and it's oil and water cooled or uh, coolant cooled or whatever you wanna call it. Um, what I was thinking is maybe run this line back to my heater core and then coming back from the heater core um, and instead of going directly into this run it to the turbo around to cool the turbo then back into here um, I don't know if that would necessarily work but I'm, I'm looking to eliminate especially all the coolant lines on here like right here this is a, a coolant line it goes through over over down to here and I don't absolutely think it's necessary to have this on here um, I've already blocked off the emissions that's a completely different uh, story there but when it comes to like a vacuum source um, I know all these lines here were mostly for emission except for one of them this one right here which is a, uh, a vacuum source I was actually thinking about completely unbolting this whole monstrosity here and basically running of this to a vacuum block this as well as uh, these two are vacuum lines maybe I could keep this one separate for fuel pressure regulator but like this like I, you know I feel inside there it's obviously a vacuum line not coolant um, this over here is coolant which is attached to the throttle body I should be able to just to cap that off and then over here on the other side, I believe, is the coolant line. But uh, I, I really don't think it's necessary to, to have a lot of this junk on here. And I want to get rid of it. And I'm looking for any tips on what would be the best way to do that. Um, like I say, I've already removed the emissions off there. Um, I asked a question before about the idle air control. Um, and uh, I got, you know, the breather separators here. They plug into this. And that just basically plugs into there. And then it plugs into here. And uh, I'm wondering, you know, is there a way I can remove that? Because I'm, I'm getting an AEM Series 2 EMS. And I would like to be able to remove a lot of the unnecessary junk. This car is going to be primarily driven four months out of the year. Because up here in Canada, that's really all the driving weather you get. Um... So I don't plan on taking it out in too many cold situations. Um, on top of that, I have a heated garage. Secondly, I mean, like, do I really need these? Like, uh, with the AEM unit, I'm, I'm going to be having a uh, AIT sensor. And I don't know what all I need here, what I can do away with and, and scrap. Maybe completely block this hole off on the back here. Um... I'm just looking for advice on how to make this like a proper car, something that doesn't have a lot of the unnecessary BS that manufacturers put on. Um, like all that emission stuff is already gone. But that, you know, keeping in mind, I have to come up with uh, a way to cool that turbo as well as oil it and then uh, return it back to the system somehow. So I don't know if it'd be better to return the, the coolant line from the turbo to the radiator or back into the system. I mean, I'm just looking for a heads up. What do you guys think is the best option on here? Um, you know, I've, I've got my this unthreaded as well as this is loose. So I have an option. I can switch the switch over to there and the plug over there. And instead of running the plug, like 
provide oil to my turbo. But then after that, you know, um, I gotta, I don't have the oil pan. Yeah, I do have the oil pan on there. I gotta weld a bung on there yet. Maybe get myself an excessive oil pan. It, all the money starts adding up when you start customizing. You know, I, I recommend a lot of guys doing this should just have gone with the SR. Um, would have been so much easier to start with an already turbocharged engine. Um, of course, I say that now. I haven't actually really done a whole lot of work on an SR. I mean, mainly <laughs> limited stuff. So I've done a little bit of timing on it and swapped some engines with guys, but that's about it. Um, looking for heads up on how I can simplify this. Um, also, I've got a couple of questions here too. I've got... Uh, Ooh, these plugs they're exactly the same what are they used for they're, they're apparently for the block um, at least I believe now the quantity just ignore the quantity I can give you the part number there the 089313041A I may have just ordered two just to have spare in case of cross threading or screwing it up somehow um, same with this, I have two here of 089313061A. And, you know, I look and they're supposed to be plugs for the block, I believe, on the. Uh, let me kick, kick this into the light here. I'm thinking that's the one plug right there. So I don't really need it. I mean, I could torque that down and make sure it's in there. Um, but the other plug, the. This one, well, these two. I'm not too sure where they go. Like, I know the dipstick goes in here. You got a bracket for, I believe, power steering right here. This is a... I can't remember what that is. Probably another bracket of some kind. But, uh, yeah, I, I need to know where some of this stuff goes. Like, maybe that plug that I had there was for an S13. I believe this is an S13 block. Or maybe it's for an S14 right there. Um, actually, I do have the other block over here. Okay. This is the same side. I do have a hole, a mysterious hole right there. That's plugged on the other engine. I don't know. I need to figure out where a lot of this stuff goes. Um, I also have a curious O-ring that I'm not entirely too sure where it goes. It's the uh, 15059V5001. It's a little tiny O-ring. Like, I mean, honestly, it looks like... It actually looks smaller than the one that's on, on there. But, uh, I need to know what that's for. I got leftover cross plugs. That's one thing you'll notice when you're building an engine is you, you come across a lot of spare parts. Like, there's an extra valve cover I have for an S13 because I can't use it on this head. Um, there's an extra flywheel. There's uh, the clutch I'm going to be using. Um, that's a 350Z clutch as well as a uh, RB25 flywheel. I think it's 25, can't remember. Anyway, it looks like it's the same diameter. And a uh, new throwout bearing pilot bushing from JWT as well. That's a JWT clutch. I have an extra head gasket, uh, extra belts, another extra lower timing cover. I have an extra, uh, you know, extra everything on here. Um, and it actually does get kind of confusing when you start not keeping track of parts. Like, I know I don't need those frost plugs anymore because I have them installed on this block. I mean, I could use them for the next one if I need them. But, uh, yeah, like I, I've got a spare block over there that's been machined that I don't need. <laughs> um, yet. I, I don't know. If, if I blow this guy up, I might end up having to use this block yet. But, uh, it's stock bore, so I won't be able to use pistons or anything in there. But then again, if I blow that up, I don't know if I'd want to. So I got, uh, that and all these parts, a lot of those bins there, over half of them are full of S13 and S14 engine parts. It quite literally is ridiculous when you get into this. 
this kind of level. I know there's some of you out there um, that are about the same, but uh, this is my shelf of parts that I'm probably going to be using. <laughs> I mean, obviously that and the manifold yet I got to put on, but I'm going to wait until it's in the car so I don't actually like, hoist the engine up and break anything. Blow off valve. I got wastegate coming. AEM series two. Yeah, lots of good stuff coming, but uh, I need help. Tell me what I should do, YouTube.